is Anashwa here and welcome to pillar 2 of being a conscious mum. This pillar is about learning how to reinvigorate your relationships and when I say relationships I mean whether it's your partner, your own parents, your close friends, your extended family and I guess it's also in bringing more into awareness that with parenting um, as you are becoming more responsible and you are learning to be more available to your to your child that um, people who you were available with before are having to accommodate with that change in the priority as well. In particular I wanted to um, spend some time talking about what it means for your relationship with your partner or your husband uh, when you both have become parents especially if it's the first time you both are learning and you both are going through the change and he's learning to be a caregiver as well just as you are at the same time it's an opportunity for the two of you to uh, relook at your intimacy and your connection and your relationship uh, in ways that will not be exactly the same as it was before um, and I guess it's about uh, the awareness of what that means for both of you. Um, for some partners they might feel a little insecure if uh, they see the mother um, investing a lot of her time to the baby or um, you know the partner might feel uh, or might have certain level of expectation about what it means to be reconnecting as a couple and often that can lead to some level of conflict or a disagreement or sometimes just distance and um, and and I guess this is about taking an opportunity to look at how you're feeling about your relationship with your partner right now and you know what's been helpful and what's not been helpful and the, the for the unhelpful bits I guess it's starting to look at um, you know how you can start to communicate more on those issues so communication is the key to expressing what's what are your expectations what is it that you think will make you feel more closer and loved and secure in your relationship with your partner and and that expression in itself can be um, can bring can help bring and you know um, more understanding and more compassion with each other as well. One of the things which I also recommend to a lot of um, uh, you know first-time parents and I, I personal at a personal level I found that incredibly beneficial is to create some rituals of connecting with your partner which is going to really work around this this demand around the parenting and which creates some level of closeness that uh, and continues to keep that level of connection in some form or the other. Um, and these rituals of connection can be very little things like uh, very simple things, for example, um, you know, reconnecting at the end of the day and sitting down for 30 minutes and having a chat or, um, you know, uh, some of the things that um, helped me and my husband was um, once a week we used to go to uh, breakfast to a very nearby cafe and at a time that we knew Arjun was fed and, um, you know, he, you know, he was, he was, you know, all his needs were met and you know his nappy was changed and it was it was it would just take us five minutes to reach the cafe and and we can spend an hour uh, while he would play in the pram and we can spend an hour having a chat and having a nice breakfast and and reconnecting with each other in um, you know as we you know getting some normality back into the relationship even though um, you know the spontaneity it had you know it certainly is not the same as it was before having my son um, you know so there could be lots of ideas whether it's um, you know sometimes even seeking some uh, help if you've got help around whether it's uh, a parent around or a friend around or, or organizing a babysitter even for an hour or two even if it's once a month or once a week whatever works for both of you 
to spend some time to doing things that you used to do before, whether it's uh, you know going out for dinner or going out for a walk um, or um, just any form of uh, you know togetherness, which is which defines you as a couple, and that helps to feel like that connection is not lost and that you are still savoring wonderful loving you know moments with your partner as you are having incredible joy in raising your child and being the family that you want to be um, and and I guess this is um, this is important to um, to acknowledge that that takes time as well and it's 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 the communication which will keep um, the awareness going between what are his expectations and what are your expectations. The other change that happens in relationships is often to do with work, and um, you know um, it's very hard to really know when you're going to go back to work, and sometimes you think about. Uh, how would the working relationship be, you know, when you decide to go back to work. There are a lot of questions which are left unanswered. Um, and again, it's about taking your time and figuring out your needs first and your priorities first and what's going to work for you instead of focusing on what's going to help other people be happy and what are their dependency needs on you. Um, it's you know, it's about prioritizing your your and your baby's needs and your family's needs first. Um, in in terms of your family, whether it's your parents, your siblings, and close friends who probably didn't have children yet, or or um, some extended family, and the amount of time you probably spent with them uh, might also change. And I guess it's about again acceptance and of that it's it's it is transitioning there as well and and if you far if you feel like it's getting too demanding or some people are not able to understand or accommodate or adapt to changes in your life i think it's again about taking a deep breath and communicating and sharing your feelings um, in a way that helps to renegotiate the relationship again so, um, all in all, um, there's going to be change in how you're going to relate and how much time you're going to spend with everyone around you, uh, especially in the first year of having your baby. And, um, and it's very normal to feel that way and very normal to go through that change too. Um, but certainly, uh, being clear about what your needs are and communicating and expressing yourself will take a you know will be extremely beneficial to help you feel reconnected and feel closer again to to the to the relationships that have a lot of meaning for you i hope this pillar was helpful in um, understanding a bit more about uh, how to reconnect with relationships after becoming a mum and to to talk more and share your story and um, your feedback on how you found this video um, just hop on to our closed group discussion and uh, it would be great to get your thoughts on them and um, and your feedback um, you can also hop on to our website which is www.mumokbabyok.com.au uh, you can read on our latest feature article of the month and mom story of the month at the same time browse through a range of organic products which is nurturing for you and nurturing for your baby and it's all about using your consciousness in choosing the products that makes um, a difference in yours and your baby's life all right so i look forward to our next pillar in our next video and in the meantime think about how you can use this segment to empower your life more bye